Once upon a time, there was a logger, an independent man, liked to do things his own way. And he had a piece of land he loved, a mountaintop, a full section on the map, nearly a mile square of beautiful Del Norte forest. He took care of this land, cultivated it, over the years teaching his three daughters how to be stewards of the forest, how to manage and appreciate its incredible gifts, how to love it as he did. Just over 620 acres atop French Hill, overlooking the pristine Smith River, five minutes from the mountain community of Gasky in Del Norte County, it's no exaggeration to describe Section 36 as a truly once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The section's uniqueness is evident just looking at a map. It's a full section just under a square mile, having been kept intact since its original survey. Bordered on two sides by Forest Service land and by just two other private landowners on the other two sides, Section 36 differs from much of the surrounding topography simply by being level. There are miles of roads and tracks providing access to every part of the property with many open spaces and meadows. There's water literally everywhere in the section. Placid spring-fed ponds and wild bubbling streams and all around a diverse, varied forest that reflects from canopy to forest floor the care taken by our logger. For decades, he selectively logged the section, making use of the extensive road network some of these roads he opened himself. Others go back more than a century, leading through the section to remote and historic gold mines in the Del Norte past. There are parts of Del Norte County, little used county and forestry roads, that remain inaccessible except by easement through Section 36. Along many of these roads, tucked beneath the overarching canopy, are spring-fed ponds of serpentine green, quietly reflecting the silent forest all around. Contrast these with the tumbling, raucous streams, each with its own voice. Let's take a minute and listen. Of course, a logger's gonna log, and our logger did just that with his section, practicing skid logging in a decidedly sustainable fashion. He carefully culled mature trees, leaving the younger stock to grow, instructing his fellers to drop the trees in a way that damaged the surrounding forest as little as possible. The result is a diverse forest comprised of many different ages and species, chinkapin, dug fir, oak, maple, alder, even rare knobcone pine. Family tradition holds that there's a massive Douglas fir growing on the property, 14 feet in diameter, but the logger kept its location a secret so that no harm would ever come to it. That, that right there, that's what makes Section 36 so special. More than the incredible views, the level topography, the numerous building sites, the potential grazing land, the abundant water, or even the monetary value of the forest itself. What makes Section 36, Three Sisters Wood, so very special, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, really, is the logger that loved the forest so much he kept the location of its most valuable tree a secret. That love, the love of a father and his daughters gathering huckleberries together in the Del Norte Forest, of a logger for his way of life and for the land that sustained him. 
All that love and care can still be felt atop French Hill in section 36.